<laughs> we're going to draw a lemur. Yes, yes. What's the lemur? That's what we're going to draw today. So you need to be ready with your paper and your pencil. Okay, our lemur is up in a tree. And um, so I'm going to draw the line for where the tree branches are. We have a tree branch that's going across the corner. And then we have a tree branch that is going up and down on the side. No, it's just regular paper. So I, I just have a line drawn here and a line drawn here for my tree. Okay, then I want to start drawing in my lemur. And I want to make my drawing fill up my whole page. So that's why I'm drawing all the way to the edge. Okay, I want to draw my lemur's face. I'm going to make it nice and big. So I'm just going to sketch it in right in here. I'm drawing lightly in pencil so that I can get my shape figured out. And then I can draw it darker once I get it figured out. So um, we're going to draw an ear up in here, an ear shape. And then this ear is going to go right off my page. Okay. This is the shape that I want for my lemur. I'm going to go ahead and draw this other part of my branch. I forgot to draw the second line. So there's my branch coming out right here. And I'm going to draw this little part of my lemur right here. So that's kind of his shoulders. And this tree branch is where I'm going to have my lemur's hand. And he has long, skinny fingers. So this is kind of the shape that his hand is going to fill up. But I'm going to draw those long fingers too. So I'm going to draw a finger here. I'm going to draw another finger right here. And then I will draw one right here. And then this one is going to stretch out to the side. And then there's one more little one right over here. So that's my lemur's fingers. Another hand over here wrapping around this branch. Okay, so I'm going to just sketch in that shape that that hand is going to fill up. It's going to have kind of a little short thing right here. And then these fingers are together so we'll be able to see the lines that they're going to be close together. Okay. So I want you to find where your ears are, kind of where that line is. Your eyes are actually going to be below that line, okay? So I will draw a nice big circle. Okay? And a nice big circle over here as well. They have very round, circular eyes. Have any of you guys ever seen Madagascar? Yes. There, I think there's a lemur character oh, in there, yeah. isn't there? Oh, yeah. Lemurs are actually native to Madagascar, so it makes sense that they would have a lemur in that movie. I don't remember the name of that character. But King Julian. King Julian, that's his name. Cool. All right, so there's my lemur's eyes. Okay, we're going to sketch in a shape for the nose. So we're going to draw just a curved line, kind of like that. And then we're going to make a little angle line coming in. And a little V shape at the top. Draw the black outline around the outside of the eyes. So just as a reminder, I'm going to show you the lemur again. He's got very dark fur right around his eyes. He's got a very dark nose and he's got dark skin on the inside of his ears.
So we have some dark areas that we need to add in. So first, let's just draw the shape of the area around his eyes. So it's going to be kind of shaped a bit like this. Okay, I'm going to darken that shape in so you can see it better. Okay, we'll draw the shape that's around the other eye, and then we'll start darkening it in. Okay, so that's kind of the shape that we're after. Let's go ahead and darken that in, and remember when we did our panda earlier this week, and how we made the black areas look like they were furry by making the edge not so smooth. You can do that on your lemur too. make it a little bit fuzzy on the edge make some little stray lines so that it looks like fur. remember make those black areas look kind of furry Okay, so now we have two very dark eyes. Let's work on that nose. I'm going to draw in some nostril shapes. Okay, those are going to be the darkest part of my nose when I shade it in. Okay, so I'll shade those in very, very dark. Okay, I want to shade in the rest of the nose dark as well, but this part of the nose and this part of the nose I'm going to make a little bit darker and this I'm going to make a little bit lighter even though it's all very dark so I'm going to make this part just a little bit darker shading and his nose isn't really furry it's more of just some smooth skin so if you make it look a little fuzzy on the edges it's okay because he has white fur on the outside edge of that nose and so they, it might look a little fuzzy around those edges but the nose actually doesn't have hair on it so that's the way I want my nose to look I'm going to draw in the shape for the inside of the ear so I'm going to just draw in a shape that is going to be nice and dark. And I'm going to shade it in dark, but then I'm going to do an eraser trick, okay? If you have a good eraser, this is a fun trick to do when you're drawing. Look at this ear for a minute so I can show you what I'm talking about. Wait for the camera to get adjusted. Okay. If you look carefully at this ear, you can see some little white furry lines that are, are in that black space. Do you see what I'm talking about? Little skinny hairs. So it's kind of hard for me to color in that ear dark and leave those skinny white lines. So I'm just going to use my eraser and erase some into the ear. That's easier for me. Then I'll draw the shape on this side. This one, I'm almost going to just divide that shape in half and then just follow it around. So it's going to be dark as well, and then I'll erase some white fur lines in there. So I'll just erase a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Now I want to add some more shading to my lemur because when I look at his fur, he has some dark areas and some lighter areas and some medium value areas. So on the very top of his head, I'm going to just draw a little section that looks like this. Okay. And this is the area that he's going to have some medium gray fur. Okay. So I'm just going to shade that in medium gray. But remember, you don't want your edge to be quite so perfect because this is a furry little guy. So make it not so perfect. Okay. And I'm going to shade in this part of his fur over here, kind of a medium gray too. I want to put a dark shadow right under his chin. So I'm going to make it kind of dark and then I'm going to make it a little bit lighter right underneath that and a little bit lighter right underneath that kind of fade out and kind of fade it over too. So it's really dark here, fade it over so it's light as it goes across. If you want to, you can draw like a little edge for his arm and like for his body there. And then we want to put a little bit of light gray on his shoulder over here and make sure we fade out that fur on this side too. Okay, just put a little bit of value here and there and some other places. I'm going to put a little bit of value right in between his eyes, a little bit of value around those dark circles. Okay, I'm going to put some dark fingertips on him. And then I'm going to shade the underneath sides of his fingers. And then I'm going to shade in these fingertips too. I'm going to make them a little pointier. Make my dark lines. And then shade in kind of a light gray value over the whole thing here. So that's a pretty good value. I want to adjust these edges because he's looking a little too smooth on his edges. So I'm going to just adjust some edges here, make him look a little bit more furry. Don't want any too smooth lines on this furry little critter. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with the way my lemur looks. What is the dark value that I still need to add? Look at my picture. What do I still need to shade? The trees. So let's get that taken care of next. So the trees are pretty dark. I'm going to erase where I still have a line coming through this lemur's. And, right. And then I'm just going to start shading in those trees and I want them to be kind of darker than the light gray fur, but not as dark as I shaded in the black around my lemur's eyes. And with trees, you can do kind of a texture. It's going to have like some areas that are dark and shadowy, some areas that are not quite so dark. Just shade those in. I'm going to put it a little bit darker on one side than on the other side to give it some dimension. Okay, so I'm going to shade in this area. Forget that you always finish up your drawing with your artist's signature in the bottom right hand corner. <coughs> 